Hey everyone, it's me. Today is a VHS update for Monday, July 25th, 2016, in which this consists of three clamshells and three slip covers. Alright, so a total of six tapes. Alright, let's start off with the first clamshell. It's a 20th Century Fox, fil Fox Family Feature Film, Rookie of the Year. Here's the front. Two thumbs up to Siskel and Ebert. Here's the spine, character profile of a baseball player, in the back. You'll have a ball, a stand-up and chair fantasy for the entire family, says Larry Ratliff of NBC News Channel. And I think there's another critic review. The ultimate fantasy for a little leaguer comes true. Uh, Grand Slam baseball fans of ages is WBI radio or something. Anyway, that's the back. I'll show you the tape. Tape of the vertical sticker label. Here, vertical sticker label. No print date. Not even a week in year code. And this needs to get rewound. I picked these up at my local library. Uh, they had a they have a book sale downstairs where I can pick up movies. But I, anyway, that's my first movie. And here's another one. Ice Age One, or just Ice Age. Includes all new animated short Scratch Missing Adventure. Here's the front. Here's the spine. Character profile is Scrat in the back. Absolutely hilarious, says. Absolutely hilarious, says Bill Zwecker of Chicago Sun Times. And two thumbs up, says Ebert and Roper. That's the back. It's in this plastic, sh plastic clam shell. Instead of an actual regular clam shell, but anyway. Here it is with a vertical ink label. Right here. No print date. No we can hear code either. But yeah, that's that's Ice Age. Here's my last clamshell. It's Disney Pixar's Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. The Adventure Begins, starring Tim Allen. Here's the front. Featuring the star of Disney Pixar Toy Story. Front. Spine. Character profile of Buzz Lightyear. In the back. An all new feature length movie. This is the back. There's no uh, critic review. But I think this was the pilot to the TV show. I think Ian Sweeney has this tape. Uh, if you have it, Ian, uh, Ian Sweeney, uh, sorry, if you have it, Ian, uh, please, uh, please let me know what year this tape came out. And that's a shout out to you, buddy, because I know you have this movie, I think you have it. But let me know if you have it or not. Tape of the ink label. No print date. So you see, I don't know what year this tape came out in. And the tape needs to get rewound. I do know there's a DVD version of this, but I heard the DVD version is hard to find. Now we're going to go with my slip covers. Here's one of them. It's The Nutty Professor. Here's the front. Side. Other side. Top. 
the back. Do, uh, do, uh, no, spe spectacular funny. Two thumbs up, says Gene Siskel of Siskel and Ebert. Where's the back? Here's the tape with the sticker label. No print date. And it needs to get rewound. Here's the next one. It's Dr. Doolittle 2, special edition. Here's the front. And it's critic review. A treat for the a treat for the entire family. This is KTLA Morning News. Here's the side. Character profile of Dr. Doolittle. Other side, same thing. Top and back. Funny from beginning to ends is the Associated Press. Here's a tape of the vertical ink label. No print date. But I think this is 2001 VHS, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, 2001 VHS. And my last tape, Men in Black. Here's the front. Protecting the Earth of the from the scum of the universe. Here's the front. The side. Character profile of Men in Black. Other side, same thing. Top. And the back. Here's a critic review. Here's a critic review. Uh, two thumbs up. Absolutely hilarious. Remarkably clever and hip. This is Gene Siskel of Siskel and Ebert. That's the back. Here's the tape of the vertical ink label. And the print date's an invisible ink. The print date is October 11th, 1997. Right here, October 11th, 1997. And those are all my tapes I got today for VHS update of Monday, July 25th, 2016. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the next video and peace out, fans.